so we're switching out the uh, brake valve. Now this is an MV2 valve. The uh, difference is the MV2 pins on, the MV3 screws on. Uh, <clears throat> basically we're just, we marked all the lines and we marked the hoses. This is something that we're going to do from now on. I used to just do it on a video and and I did that on Fiona and then couldn't figure out why I couldn't find the it's weird because I definitely felt something in my hair uh, I couldn't find the video footage and so yeah anyhow so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna weird um, this one goes this way and this one goes back that way to go one more turn. Okay. I think that'll do it. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to try and get these nuts off down here. Let me grab a 7 16th wrench. I'll be back. You know, when you're working in the shop and you're facing the outdoors, it is super tough to see anything. The nice thing is that we don't have to take the buttons off to get it out. Because the holes are plenty big. Drop the washer. Luckily, it didn't fall through the floor. So, what we'll do is we'll get this valve put in. We'll get this bottom, uh, get this bottom put on there. These might be almost too long so uh so what i'm doing right now is i'm just um putting the bolts and washers and nuts on and uh i don't know these are a little bit different You know, these are a little deeper. Uh, I'm trying to get a wiring diagram. I may have access to one. Let's see. I just need to know what this big wire is. I believe it goes to the... To the... Uh, I believe it goes to the... Uh, just to the alternator as like a secondary power source but I don't know for sure so
So we're airing it up right now. It's got about 60 in it. We're gonna get a lot of wiring to do. That's not good. So, that's not good at all. Leads me to believe Wow, that's uh, not at all what I planned. Because it's all doing the same thing that it was doing. Um, might hit with the bags up but I'm already out so if they did they did get out my door because um, oh AC just came on okay that was weird right that comes my seat
transmission is up on the dash. Not sure what that means. Try not to knock you over, it's pretty bumpy. It actually rides pretty good, but most of these air ride conventionals ride pretty good. Full pressure is good. It's up around the 70 range. It's charging. Not sure what transmission this is. It's supposed to be a 13, but it's up on the dash. So we'll see. No turning radius. Typical. What's that mean? Uh, it's supposed to be a 13 or a 15. The book says a 13. 
the shifter says a 15, and then the pattern says double over. So it could be 13 speed double over on the dash. Not really 100% sure. We got this bag leaks pretty hardcore. And uh, so it won't build enough air idling to stay up. And the parking brakes are, um, are not. chalk it because we're on a hill and then uh, the intrusion turned around I'll need you for that because I don't have any mirrors on that truck and we'll get to put in the truck in the shop but for the maiden voyage uh, I have to say that it's fast I mean it's got big cojones did it uh, did it blow black smoke when I was yeah. pulling gears mm -hmm. yeah, it, uh, it feels good it's got a C pump it's got uh, 87, 85 injectors. Um, I don't have the fuel turned up yet, but that'll happen as well. But um, yeah, I'm pretty excited for being a first trip. All right, guys.
well guys I think this uh, officially marks the beginning of uh, painting Trisha so I'm gonna do away with these tail lights I decided I don't like them after all I'm gonna get a hanging set in here just regular tail lights and uh, put some regular mud flap mounts like 13 and 12 have on it I like those better they're lower uh, we might put fenders on it I don't know but we're definitely going to definitely going to take off the quarter fenders and mounts take the fuel tanks off and the fuel tank mounts and uh, wheels and tires off flip the flip the put some metal wheels on reversed and uh, we may we may end up sandblasting and priming and painting this frame at least the outside of it we'll have to see we may pull the we may pull the transmission out and uh, do that stuff I don't know we got a new um, batter box lid to diamond plate we're gonna get that powder coated black put on here we may put black wheels on this truck I haven't decided 100% yet uh, some nice polished uh, aluminum wheels with a clear black uh, powder coating would be cool that way we don't have to worry about them getting scratched and that way we don't have to worry about them getting uh, uh, dull we'll get this paint cleaned up get the fifth wheel back off probably get a new fifth wheel for this truck uh, probably aluminum one get this frame cleaned up and smoothed where the old wraparound one was and uh, new tanks longer tanks I'll probably put you know 16 18 inch longer tanks on it those these tanks will go on crystal uh, we'll have them polished up and uh, maybe a white clear over I don't know well I, I don't know I'm not an artist but anyways guys Trish is in the shop this will be this will be a long-term job I'm also gonna get a bigger door put in the other bay uh, so I can get another truck in get a 20-foot container put all the engines in put that right here and uh, I'm gonna try and adjust these these brakes.
Well, guys, that's it for today. Uh, we're going to close up and be done. I wanted to get some things finished today, and uh, I did. Batteries are hooked up. There's some wiring that needs to be chased down. <coughs> I'm trying to get a uh, trying to get a wiring diagram, but first first test drive. Not very far. Just down to the convenience store and back. <coughs> Engine feels strong. Does have a fuel leak. We did know about it. Uh, some of the fuel injector line adapters in the head are bad, leaking, change fuel lines just to make sure, but <coughs> but anyways, it makes plenty of power, hopefully Jessica got it rolling some coal, she rolls coal, uh, I actually really like this truck, I didn't for a long time, but, uh, but I do now, and, uh, it'll be a lot nicer when I get uh, the electrical tuned up. It's good that I got brakes and, and uh, stuff like that. Windows don't 100% seal up, so I'm not sure what I'll do with that yet. Man, just look at it thing is gorgeous you know there is some whiskey bumps here and there I really like this fin striping maybe I can get flannel Phillip to come by and touch some stripes up a little bit this is a uh, weird but really man all in all this is a pretty decent truck we're gonna get the uh, suspension bushings and Brakes done on the back, you know that's a couple of G's. Todd's gonna, Todd's my cousin that built this engine. He's gonna fix those adapters and rerun the overhead and possibly change a couple of the plungers. The, uh, the nut on the top of the plunger, a couple of them are broke, fractured off. I don't know if that's from over tightening, probably. And uh, so I'll take credit for that. One of them was already like that. Uh, but I'll take credit for it, you know, and uh, I think I'm going to send that other pump out, get it rebuilt, spend a little bit of money on it, and then we'll just swap the pump out and uh, then have this one rebuilt for X. Anyhow, that's it. I said that a bunch already. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you.